so welcome back to learning partner this is the third part of hotel booking application so in this episode i'm just going to explain the code what i have done because i didn't get the time enough to uh, make the video so booking calendar is kind of a roster roster as in in a single page i should be able to see what are the bookings i have in particular rooms for the particular dates right so if you can see currently this month is selected january so in january currently i have only four rooms so in the left side you can see i am getting rooms delta horizon gold these are nothing but rooms let me show you the api also hotel gate all rooms So see, four rooms are there. So four rooms are visible over here. And these are nothing but days available in this current month, right? Let's say if I select the next month, so in next month, I just have 29. So you can say 20, up to 29 days are here. So at the top, we have days in the particular month. And in the left side, we have the month uh, rooms, right? So now let's go back to the January. So now in January, you can see only two bookings I have. Uh, on the 1st January in Tiger Bow room, I had this uh, Sachin Tendulkar staying. In Delta room on the 4th, I had Sachin Tendulkar again staying, right? So now let's try to create another booking. I will explain the code also, but let me just show you the functionality first. Let's try to create a room. Write out. So booking form, I have not completed it, but just uh, first I need to explain the booking calendar. Then from here only, let's say these rooms are available. So once I clicked on it, I should uh, I should be able to see the booking form. Then I should be able to create the booking, right? So for that, let's add Virat. Let's enter dummy mobile number. Aadhaar number, city, right, booking ID is nothing but primary key, room ID we have to send, right, so let's check the room ID, let's say horizon room we are assigning, room ID is 8, right, so room ID will be 8. Then customer ID, we don't have to fill because uh, we don't know it, right? Once booking is created, customer ID will be automatically created. Now from date and to date, let's say you want the room from 13 to 13, one day only. Booking rate, let's enter something, 500. Let's enter his name only. Right now, if we click on execute, remember on the 13th, we have booked the room for Virat. Okay, we got the error. Let's check why is it so. Might be length got increased. Let's check now. Still, we are getting the error. What? is going wrong 4 4 8 and 10 booking id 0 room id this is also 0 created by okay so in the created by we need to send the user id so let's check user That is a foreign key that we need to pass. That will be user ID. Let's say 10. User created by will be 10. Means logged in user 10 has created it. Execute. Yeah. So now you can see room booked successfully. Now if we go to the, let's go to room page and let's go to booking calendar. Now you can see on the 13th, room, num room name horizon is booked under name Virat. Right, you can see in the tooltip, small tooltip is there. Virat, we are showing. So, like this, booking calendar is done. Now, I will explain the code. Right, so whatever the code you are seeing over here, like at the top, you are getting the number of days in a particular month. On the left side, we are getting the rooms. Right, 
So coming back to the code, CSS I will share because this repository I am already pushing the code. But just to explain it, let me just explain. So CSS you can just go through. Now code our code part I will explain. So on the page load, what we are doing first we need to get the month. Uh, what are the number of days I have in the particular month? So I have created a, a array that is days in a month list, right? Now on the page load. This is the function which we I have googled. So this function is re responsible to get the number of days in from particular month, right? So this is the code which gets us the number of days, whatever the month we have selected, it will get us all the number of days present in that particular month, right? So whatever the days we have that we are pushing it over in this variable. Now this we are using over here. Right. So you can see TR. So this is the first year. So in first year, you can see here, I have written now uh, a hard coded TD is room. So that is nothing but this, right? After that, second TD is on the for loop. What I'm, what I'm using the days, right? So whatever the days list we have in this variable that on I'm, I'm going to iterate. So that number of TDs, you can see it over here, right? After that second year. In second tier, second tier should be iterative on the rooms, right? So on the page load, we have make the API call to get all the rooms. See, get all rooms API call we have done. Whatever the rooms data we have got that we have stored in the all the rooms, right? So now all rooms we are using on the TR first. See, what are the number of rooms I have? That number of TR is getting printed, right? After that. See, in the here, in the first study, we have just uh, added a static word, but here we are showing the room name. And what number of TDs also we need? What number of days we have? So inside the TR, first was we have shown the room name. Then TD is multiple, right? So whatever the for loop we have uh, used over the first year, that same for loop we have used over here. So with this, you will get the basic structure. Rooms, number of days at the top, uh, rooms at the bottom and the number of days at the uh, against the room also right now on the page load we have made one more api call that is get all the booking right so get bookings by month whatever the date you have selected that you need to pass it so you will get the bookings for the selected month right now from that booking i have created a function that is check if booked from booking list i'm uh, finding if room number is equal to room number and the day is equal to day, right? So in the booking list, if I have the room number uh, record already present and for that particular day, so if I don't, get, if it is not undefined, I'm sending the data. If it is undefined, I'm sending false. Now this function I'm using in the HTML part. And for this function, I have to pass the two parameter day and the room list day I'm getting from here and room name I'm getting from the all rooms, right? So like that, you can see we have three bookings. So like that on that particular room number. Right. So only three bookings were there. So now you can see all are plotted over here. And in the title, I have just used, see here, I, title, I have just used, uh, used that title to just show the name of the person staying over there, right? So this, this if block is used if this is returning true, means for the booking block. If this block will be used if we don't have the booking. Now on click of this, on the key sign, once we click on a booking form will open and there I will do the booking. So for now, if you are following this video series, you can just try to implement the same thing in the next video. I will do the booking part. Then our whole application will be completed, right? So that's it with the current video. I will push the code, right? And you can just clone the project if you have not done and just check the latest code I have done. Okay. So this will be room booking commit message. I am adding commit synchronize changes 
now in the repository you can have the code so if you are new to the channel please do like subscribe and like my videos that's it with the current video